Hey folks, today we are going to take a tour of the Carnival Mardi Gras. We were on the Mardi Gras in April of 2024, and we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. Of course, we're going to skip the first two floors. Floors one and two is for cargo and crew only. So we'll go ahead and start here at deck number three here. On deck three, that's where you exit the ship at. Right through those doors, they're closed this early in the morning. So we're not going to exit. No, what we're at sea anyway. And then also the medical center. And that's all you got really on deck three here. So deck four, deck five is stateroom. So we're gonna work our way to deck number six. Welcome to the Mardi Gras Theater. It is at the very, very front deck number six. And this is from the stage view. Starting at the very front of deck six, you will find cloud nine spa. Also, deck six forward across from the spa, you will find the gym. It's still pretty dark outside, but whenever it's daylight, it's a nice view out the window while you're working out here. It's pretty empty. I haven't seen very many people in the gym since we've been on the ship. Still at the front of deck number six is one of two comedy clubs. This is the punchliner here right close to the punch liner down the hall here heading toward the center of the ship is the piano bar let's go in and check that out have made it to the center of deck six right over there is where we came in when we first got on the ship and this is the center stage where all the shows the main shows happen at and sometimes some of the games and stuff like that are going on there and right behind it is the java blue coffee bar or cafe but if you don't want to drink their coffee weird they actually have a coffee machine right there that's free right next to the coffee bar you'll find the cherry on top with all sorts of candies moving away from the candy uh the cherry on top candy shop next door is the french quarter there's usually some good shows in here and this is the french quarter here Alrighty folks, we have passed the center stage, passed the French Quarter, and right next to that is the Flamingo Restaurant. We have not ate here. This is one of the other dining rooms, and uh, we'll show you ours in just a moment, but this isn't it. But I'm sure that they have some interesting breakfast here for the kiddos. Uh, once again, we're deck six moving away from center stage is the main Walkway here going toward the back of the ship all kinds of shopping on both sides Working our way toward the back of the ship you will find the fortune teller bar our favorite bar of the whole ship here And at the end of this video, we'll post a video of that and right across from it There's like a little stage here right there. There's usually a uh, somebody doing a solo and it's usually pretty good and then move it on you'll see Emerald Bistro will uh, probably post that one too at the end there's a separate uh, video for that one and we'll show you what we had there also almost to the back of the ship is the carnival kitchen here you can learn how to cook here just have to sign up ahead of time if you want to take a class and I'll show you how to cook uh, some interesting things and now we're almost at the back of the ship in fact we are here and this is the palm restaurant and this is where we ate at but there's two floors to it so whenever you check in on your app for um for dinner and you're going to eat in the palms pay attention to what floor it tells you to go to because ours is the next deck up on deck number seven 
and we're at the back of deck number seven a lot of you will be checking here for your dinner at the palm restaurant main dining room but check your app and make sure that uh you're on the right floor for this and right beside the palm restaurant is the art gallery if you want to buy some art and the fahrenheit steakhouse we heard was really good we didn't do it this time but uh yeah, if you want a good steak, supposedly that's where you want to go. Moving forward, there's the Alchemy Bar. Uh, we are here one time, you know, we, we've been to the Alchemy Bar, but on this ship, this was our worst bar. The wait times were long, and the staff here was not so friendly, unlike the fortune teller. Also, at the Alchemy Bar, you can go in to the right right there, or you can come up here and walk down this hallway is the limelight lounge where the other comedy show is at it's a much smaller usually they have the kid-friendly comedy there and of course you got a lot more artwork and you got the carnival store here with all the carnival stuff that you could wish for and they've always got to sell and we've made it back to the back to the uh, center stage, but on the upper deck from the center stage. Still on deck seven. Moving forward is the beginning of the casino. This part of the casino near the elevators is where the non-smoking part of the casino is at, and we're going to move forward towards center stage here. Just a little tip if you want to see one of the really good shows like celestial strings which is our favorite make sure you get here at least an hour earlier if you want to sit up close and see it really close otherwise you've got some awkward seating in the little cut out pieces and stuff like that we watched the show from way up there and it was not a good experience we came back down the next night and watched it from right there and it was a total different experience so I recommend getting here very early going in the other end of the casino is the smoking area here and I can't record in here so I gotta stop right here and we'll make our way to the other end and we made it to the very front of the theater right past the casino and here's the other entrance to the Mardi Gras theater at the front of Deck 8, you'll find the Havana State Rooms and Suites. We're not staying here, so we're not going to go that direction. We're going to work our way out. But they have their own Havana Bar here. But we're not in the Havana Suites. They have their own, they have their own uh, area back in here. It's supposed to be private. And I think they might have their own pool. I know on the celebration they did. Decade also has Chibang, the Chinese and Mexican cuisine. We have not ate here. We had friends with us here on the ship who ate here and said it was good. And working our way back from the Havana bar in Chibang is a place we just discovered our last cruise is the dream studio and the dream studio if you have a special occasion we highly recommend you see these folks these are not the regular folks who are out here in the uh in the hallways and stuff that are making pictures they go a step above a little more expensive but a little more professional pictures and we've made it back to the center stage and what to me is the worst seats in the house like i said earlier this is where we were at right here watching the show and while it looks like it might be good seats they use the background here a lot and if you're not sitting down there then the background is not uh, you don't see it as well so it kind of takes away from the show so get here early so you can get a really good seat i always say this bonsai tap I always say this wrong, Bonsai Tapiak, Tapinaki. Wow, that's hard to say. Anyway, 
uh, we've got an upcoming video on this we've done this before we decided to do it again and we'll show you that experience uh, you'll have to check out our upcoming videos so with that if you like this video and if you want to see an upcoming video of that please do us a favor hit that subscribe button ring that bell and click on the you know the thumbs up that helps us grow Bonsai Tapiaki requires a reservation and is an extra fee. I think we paid $39 for our per person. But next door is the sushi restaurant. We tried that the other night and it was pretty good. Pretty good. And then you got more shopping. We are passing the center and working our way toward the back. This is the main walkway here. And you got all the pixel gallery stuff where you can come and customize your pictures and uh, pay for those. There's the Italian restaurant that we ate at, another upcoming video. So again, subscribe to our channel so you get notified of that. Anyway, uh, here is the uh, Bar Della Rosa. And you have to go out those doors right there going outside the bar continues around and there is a huge smoking section out here and right past the smoking section behind the bar de la rosa is the most famous pizza restaurant uh, and uh, they make some really good pizzas here you'll always find a line here and also next to that is the sandwich shop and in the morning, the first place you can get to to get some coffee is right here, believe it or not. Right past the pizza place, in the sandwich shop, is the Rudy's Sea Grill. We have not tried that yet. If you tried it, let us know in the comment below if it's good or not, and we'll try that on our next cruise. And right past that is where you can sign up for uh, different excursions, and then you got guest services there. And after you pass guest services, you'll see Summer Landing, which is where the Pig and Anchor is at, in one of our favorite areas. It smells good back here. There's also the, uh, if you want your liquor and cigarettes, this is where you'd come to. And this is the famous Pig and Anchor Bar. We tried it, it was okay. Wasn't the best, wasn't the worst. But uh, what I really like about this area is they have the military section here. Did a video on that uh, previously. You could go back and check it out on the celebration. Got a little more detail. But this is the Pig and Anchor. And we have made it to the very back of the ship. Wow. Deck 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 are all staterooms so we're gonna work our way on up to deck number 16 what a beautiful day to be cruising and we are at the back of deck number 16 the Sun is rising it's beautiful out here got a couple of jacuzzis out here and also at the back of deck 16 is where we're gonna start and on the left side is the big chicken on the right side is the bar and right in the center and all the way up to the center of the ship you will find the Lido Marketplace where the main buffet dining style is at and we've ate here many times love the omelet station we have made it to the center of deck 16 which is the Lido deck the main area of the ship where all the parties and movies and shows and all kinds of stuff happens here. The cool things I like about the pool is that right around here is a seating area. You can sit here with your drinks and keep your feet cool and comfortable. And, uh, there's the sizzle, there's the steam dream, and there's the time for fries. And I hear they also have wings here. We haven't tried that yet, but we did try the seafood shack. Now on the opposite side, there's the red, front, uh, red frog on the other side of the Lido deck, and then the uh, blue iguana right here blue iguana they're getting some breakfast over here ready they don't open till 7 30 unfortunately on the carnival lately is opening the breakfast up a lot later 7 30 7 7 30 and i guess they don't know that people get up earlier than that and are hungry so but you can come back here and get you a breakfast burrito 
All right, folks, we have made it to deck number 17. We are at the Lido, uh, right above the Lido deck here where the pool and all the stuff happens at. From there on back is nothing but state rooms, so we're not gonna work our way back there. There is some lounge chairs, but from there on back is state rooms. Here's the upper part of the Red Frog. And right hidden back in here behind the California US 80 sign is the guy's burger joint. And this is the guy's burger joint which is one of my favorite places to get food at and club 02 for ages 15 to 17 and that completes the back side of this to the other side of the ship and i'll show you something that's not on the map here's the club, uh, circle c club for the kids 12 to 14 and right across from it is the warehouse arcade and we're going to cut through here and then i'm going to take you on the other side and show you something there Wow, don't know if you can hear me or not. Wow, it's super windy up here on deck 17, but I'm about to show you a little hidden spot uh, that a uh, certain group of folks will like, certain group of folks won't like, and some of you would care less. But I'm gonna show it to you anyway. Like I said, some of you won't care, some of you will, but at the hidden, at the very back, uh, deck number 17 is a large smoking area the third smoking area of the ship besides the casino and the uh, one uh, couple of decks below us but this is the windier one it's also a non-smoking section back here that is a place to relax off the back of the ship and you can look down at the folks on deck number 16 or just catch Or just catch a beautiful sunrise from right here and that's gonna complete deck number 17 folks we made it to deck number 18 this is the ultimate playground for uh, sports We've got a little small putt-putt golf course over here got a little play area with a for the uh, kids can hang out that's also if you're riding one of the slides that's where you're gonna come down at one of the shoots here uh, they've also got a track for you joggers and I say you joggers because I used to be a jogger jogged for many many years every day every single day but now my knees won't let me do it so can't jog too much anymore but I can still walk so we're gonna walk but uh, also the bolt roller coaster is here one thing about the boat roller coaster, make sure you get on the app and check in and get you a slot because they're very limited because as you see this thing is not running this morning because the winds probably won't run most of the day because the winds doesn't run uh, anytime it's raining so you got a limited window of getting on the boat. Almost to the center of deck 18 here and they have a basketball court here if you want to play some basketball and wow it's a pretty big one for a cruise ship too and right above us is the obstacle course this is the back side of the boat and there is the obstacle course i've seen a few people on that one and the few people that i've seen like to walk out on this ledge here and look over the ship and as you hear it's pretty windy To the center of the ship on the back side is the serenity deck over there I've showed that many times on other videos it's just a relaxing area for the adults only if you want to get away from the kiddos that's where you'd go and have a nice uh, relaxing day catching some Sun watching the ocean go by very relaxing place <laughs> so we have completed the ultimate playground Mardi Gras, saw the bolts roller coaster, saw the bolt roller coaster, saw the ropes course, sports court with the waterworks where you can catch on the slides, and the mini golf cart, uh, mini golf course, and that's going to complete this. 
Hey folks, that is going to complete this video of the tour of the ship. I hope you liked it. Deck and 11. we'll see you on the next one. Deck 11 is here. That's where we're at. That's where our stateroom is at. And that's the end of this video. See you later.